as I work on restoring the interior trim pieces of Project Risky Business, our 1985 Porsche 928, one of the pieces I have to do is actually a color change. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the steps I used and the products I used to change the color on the luggage cover I found for this car. Stay tuned. <laughs> So one of the exciting things to do is go parts hunting for these cars. In April 21, when I went to the all Porsche only swap meet that's held annually now in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, I came across a real find. And that was a leather luggage cover for the Porsche 928. Now standard one was made in, as I understand it, was made in cloth. And as you can imagine, that large greenhouse area just made them disintegrate. I came across one laying on the ground, as you do typically see at these um, um, swap meets. Confirmed the part with my good friend Nick and managed to pay only $50 for what uh, was a very good part. No tears, no real damage. The biggest challenge with the piece, even though it's not damaged, was the fact it was a taupe color. Didn't really go well with my combination champagne and buffskin brown uh, two-tone interior. One of my favorite leather products to use are made by a company called Color Plus, based in Pennsylvania. That you can, uh, They make a variety of products to soften leather, clean leather, and most importantly, dye it. Whether you either want to uh, restore it to its original factory color or do a color change. So to facilitate my restoration of all the interior pieces, I had Color Plus, I sent them samples of my existing leather and they color matched it. Both the brown that you'll see in an upcoming episode and this uh, lighter, what they call champagne, which is a very buttery, almost caramel color that I really like. And I'm really looking forward to getting that, those pieces of the interior done because they're, the current interior is bleached out in many areas. In the last video, you saw me remove all the rear quarter trim and uh, the rear seats to give me access to the, uh, the, the trim pieces. I'm currently in the process of restoring those pieces. There was a little bit of curling in them, and I'm straightening those. So while I was waiting for those to uh, be ready for dyeing, I went ahead and dyed the luggage cover. So it's pretty dramatic going from taupe to the Porsche factory champagne and I wanted to take you through that. So there's a shot of it when it's when the, when the hatch is open. There's a close up of the, those what are look like pockets. It's actually folded in. Now here I am pulling it out. So the biggest challenge here is since I have a two tone interior in this car, do I dye the cover brown to match the carpet or do I dye it to match the seats? After looking at a lot of pictures online of other cars that have these covers, uh, it was clear to me that um, I wanted to match the seats and the side panels so it gives a more continuous look. So it was going to be a little bit more challenging to use the lighter colored dye, but I think you'll see that the results speak for themselves. All right, in this spray bottle, I have mixed up five ounces of hot water with five ounces of Surf, what, what Color Plus provides is known as their Surflex cleaner. It's a citrus cleaner and uh, it's a very strong cleaner. They recommend not using it at 100%, but a 50 50 ratio of hot water with uh, the, the concentrate. So here I am spraying it liberally across the, the top side of this uh, cover. And then I'm using my horsehair brush that I normally clean leather with to uh, work that in and get that cleaned. A couple times because this stuff dries up pretty fast, but you can see me working through it, cleaning up. What's hard, to, what's difficult to see is uh, I'm cleaning a lot of spots and you just don't know what preservatives were put on this thing back in the day. Now I'm sa lightly sanding the whole piece. Uh, that's recommended by Color Plus. 
go through and sand everything as it uh, helps the dye actually um, helps open up the pores on the leather. And this is a dye, it's not a paint. They're quick to point that out. And this dye penetrates the pores of the leather and, and, and it sucks in, so it leaves the, the fabric flexible. So now here I am, after wiping it down again, this is the first coat I'm applying with a horsehair brush. I'm mainly about the coverage right now on this first coat. You can see it's already starting to change the color of the, of the material as it penetrates. And I have to admit, this, uh, this first coat, uh, the leather, leather being the way it is, uh, it really sucked it in uh, the first time here. So you can still see hints of the taupe coming through. Particularly closer to the lens. And, you know, I'm down in my basement workshop, so the lighting isn't the best. Now, here's a, here's a second coat after you see how it dried. Again, I'm using the horsehair brush this second time. Um, I'm going to get foam brushes for the um, other things. Uh, I just don't want to have brush marks in it, although they do fade away on, on, on this piece. So that's a shot of the second coat that I put on. Again, sand between the, I sanded between the coats after they dried. I let this one dry overnight. And you can, don't see it there, but I'm, they recommend wiping it down with lacquer thinner very lightly. That helps the, the dye bond. Now, in this last step, you see me wearing latex gloves, and I'm using a lintless uh, shop towel to put the final coat on. This is three coats and it's more than adequate the color is no longer coming through and it just looks amazing here i am heating it good shot of me heating it to dry it and now i'm putting it up against an undyed uh these are one of this is one of the side bolsters and you can see now this is a very good match uh, that'll look really nice in the back of the car with all of the other pieces matching so that's the progress for today. The next video I'll be putting together, I'm working on the rear trim panels. I'm trying to straighten out some curling on the underlying panel, as well as softening the leather to make it flexible enough to uh, form fit everything again before I start dyeing it. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to comment, like this video, and most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.